blocks. It's a day of block deals, as you were just mentioning. The other one that took place today is in Gland Pharma, and that is also a stock in focus, and also is Prestige Estates, and the company is now considering a fundraising via QIP, and ME Organics is also uh, launched a QIP. Vivek is joining in with all the details. Vivek, what do you have for us? Well, uh, you know, that's right. Like you mentioned, you know, it's the season, it's the day of block deals, fundraising, and QIP. So, the first one, like you mentioned, uh, for, uh, is Gland Pharma, you know, the promoter entity, Fosun Pharma, that's been looking uh, to hive off its stake. Uh, however, you know, there have been multiple attempts, number one, made to sell the company. Number two, you know, they've also been trying to sell a bigger chunk. But today, what's actually happened is that a little over 5% equity changed hands, and uh, we understand that Fosun Pharma, you know, we had access to the term sheet. Uh, UBS was the banker to this particular deal. They held 57.86% stake, so they've paired a little over 5% stake in today's block deal. The second company on the radar is Prestige Estates. Now, when you talk about Prestige Estates, uh, remember there are two separate pieces of news that the company has put out to the exchanges. This is, uh, you know, something that they will be putting up for consideration at the board meeting on June 21st. Number one, the company itself is considering fundraising. This uh, the route could either be via the QIP, the rights issue, or the preferential issue route. Now, the second, uh, you know, piece of information that the company has given to the exchanges is that. Uh, in the hospitality segment that the company operates in, uh, they could be looking at a fundraise and this could be done via either a primary or secondary issue of shares. Uh, what we understand from our sources, something that we reported last week is that, you know, they're going the IPO route and uh, this is something that they will need the board nod for. Uh, the last company on the radar is Ami Organics. Again, this particular company looking to raise close to 400 crore via the QIP route. Uh, we understand that almost 8.6% of the total equity dilution is what the company is targeting at. And the indicator flow price for this particular fundraise is close to 1240 rupees a share. Our debt repayment, capex and working capital expenditure is what the company will be utilizing the funds for. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for joining us with all those details, Vivek.